Hey guys, welcome back. Now let us complete this section by creating our home page for our website and also completing some small details which we have missed. So in this lecture, we will be first start working on our home page. So at currently, if I try to visit my home page, I don't have anything. So I need to specify, I need to design a template for my home page. We will be doing that with the help of Bootstrap. The next thing I want to talk about is our links. So this is some small changes that we need to do. At currently, if you see our contact us page, its route is dedicated towards our to do list and then contact and same for our about us. So we need to talk about small concept regarding this. Before moving forward and start working on our template, I would recommend to do small changes. So the first one would be our link and the second one would be I need to remove this ID also. Let us do that. Let us start with our links. So currently I have my URLs that is my app URL and the second URL I need is my project URL. So if you see I am currently routing all the links to my to do list app. What I can do is I can separate these two paths. Let me cut from here and paste them here. Now here all I need to mention is their exact view. So I am taking this view from my to do list app. So all I have to do is just import my views from my to do list app. Now here you can see this is going to work fine. And let me save this one also. Let me refresh this page and see how our links are working. If I go to contact, this is fixed. If I go to my about us, this is fixed. And we don't have to worry much because our complete routing is working on this particular name. And this is fine because we have defined which view it is connecting and we have imported that. What I can do is I can give this view a particular name because in future if you are working with any different project and you have multiple view import. So currently we are just importing one view from a particular app. Maybe you are working with five or six apps and all will have the same name as view. So when you are importing views into different URLs, I would suggest to give it a name. Just use as and give a name to your particular views. And then all you have to do is instead of this view, you have to use this name. And this is going to work exactly fine. But if in future you are going to import more application that is more apps and more views, you don't have to worry about name. You can give them a separate name according to your requirement. Let me refresh this one again. Yep, this is totally working fine. Now we need to work on this ID. I just need to remove this ID from my task. So just visit your to do list HTML page and inside your table you will easily find this one. And here I have removed both of them. Go back to my browser and refresh this one. Yep, that's fine. Now the next important thing I want to talk about is creating a home page. So I have to create a URL for it. I have to write views for it. And then I have to create a HTML template inside my template folder. So that would be interesting and we should work on it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a route. So let me write path for my home page. That would be blank because we are going to work on index. And then I would be calling it as home or index and give it a name as index. Remember why I'm calling it as index because every website call their home page as index each and every website that's done. Now I need to write view for them. Just copy or sample about view and rename it as index. Just replace every about to index. And here I need to create a index.html. So what I should do now inside my template, I should add a index.html. This looks fine. Now I just need to copy base structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this content from my about.html. And let me paste it here. Write my title. And here, let me change my text. 
now this looks fine we have completed the whole phase we started with our route wrote our view and then our template let me go here and refresh this one yep that's fine i need to do one small change now i need to change this home url we can easily do that from our base.html and here for your home you need to use index and also give a link to your logo i would be giving it for home itself just copy this one and here is our logo and this is our href link let me refresh this one yep that's fine now i hope now you understand about this we also need to design our home page which we will be doing in next lecture so we will be creating a basic template for our home page so this is going to be interesting and fun activity if you are new to bootstrap so in the next lecture let us work on our home page thank you for watching this lecture see you in the next one welcome back now let us quickly wrap up here let me add my buttons so what i am doing is i have just searched for buttons on bootstrap and here if you scroll down you will get variety of buttons all we need to do is we need to decide what type of button we want for our specific term for delete i guess red would be fine for edit i guess yellow would be fine and then we need for mark as completed or mark as pending you can utilize either with this one or this one there are two different light options so let us quickly change for delete first also i would recommend you to search different buttons so you will understand regarding these bootstrap classes for button also either you can use these these are straightforward or you can utilize these outlines let me try this one simply copy this and add it here same i need to follow for the second one refresh my browser yep this is fine add the second button which is my edit option since our linking is already run so we just need to add button instead of that text let me refresh this one and see how this is going to look at this point of time here you can see we are not currently aligned at this point of time you can see we have replaced all our text with buttons next simple thing we need to do is we need to provide proper spacing to them also the alignment let us do that quickly alignment is done next thing we were talking about is spacing i would recommend you to use grid system at currently we are not dividing these column into exact spaces what we can do is with our 12 spaces we can dedicate some of this space according to our requirement visit bootstrap go into layout and then go into your grid system and here what i want to do is i want to dedicate our task space something like this and then our mark is done and then edit and then delete so i would be using my column system now let us quickly solve spacing problem at currently we are not utilizing the column dividation so all we have to do is whenever we are using any type of row i would change it to row class and then i can use column to divide my screen so that means i am using row for my heading i'm using row for my completed task i'm using row for my not completed task so all i have to do is add class at three points for my heading for my completed task and for my not completed task let me add row class for all these three 
and once we have converted them into row we can actually provide column size i know this might be confusing but this is the part of bootstrap we have completed our django part that is back end part now we are just customizing it for its better look so all i have to do is i need to define my column size for all these four field so the first one i would expect as 7 and then 3 then 1 and 1 that would be fine so all i have to do is instead of the scope i would be using class and here column size for task should be 7 i need to follow the same for done edit and delete Now this is done for our heading. Let me refresh my screen. Yep, that's done for our heading. I need to follow same for my these two tr. Get back to my template and add this class. That would be seven, three, one, and one. That's done. Refresh my browser. Yep, this looks fine. you can change your text for your about us your contact us at currently i am fine with this application and its functionality we have add task we have all the edit delete and all the different type of function which was required by us and i am really happy with my application i hope this is helpful for you and now you can create and edit your own application you can utilize whole lot of bootstrap and django functionality I hope by now you understand about URLs, views, routing regarding your flow as well as structure. The most important thing is your virtual environment, your static files, your project file, your template file as well as your app file. And now you can manage your Django application easily. Thank you for following this section. See you in the next one.